was smooth sailing for the People's United Party candidates for North Side Bay City as they simultaneously with a handful of supporters went to designated nomination stations across their divisions to officially ensure that their names were on the ballot for the November 11, 2020 general elections. While there was no fanfare or motorcades, the energy from the Musa camp was felt. Karim Musa, that is. For a second time, the son of the two-term retired Prime Minister Said Musa is making a bid for the Caribbean shores. Um, I'm so proud uh, to have my wife by my side, to have my team by my side. Um, everybody this morning came out. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't do the motorcade, but the campaigners came out, the supporters came out, so I still got that upliftment from them. Um, so I'm very appreciative um, for all the calls, all the WhatsApps, the texts from my constituents all across Caribbean shores. Uh, once again, uh, entrusting me and having faith and confidence in me to represent them and to represent them well. So I, I feel such a great sense of pride today, Dwayne. Um, the same as I did in 2015, um, even though it's just coming here and going through the formalities. We are looking forward now to being in government to implement the wonderful policies that we have for this country, uh, the great plan Belize that we have been unveiling over the last three months. Um, so I'm very excited to be a part of that change come November 11th to get those policies on the way. Today, Musa was also joined by his wife, Carla Ayers Musa. And like the saying goes, beside every great man, there is an equally great woman. The sacrifices, says Ayers Musa, are all worth it because her husband is for the people. Over the time, we have, and them as well, have learned sort of how to share this guy. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, I think... For me, I know how incredible he is and being with him every day and having known him for 20 years, I know how sincere and genuine he is. And I feel like it would be wrong of me to not support him and share him with the people because he just he has so much to give, you know, and I think that looking at the situation our country is in young people, people who are maybe cynical or disillusioned, I feel like he is that hope and that hopeful inspiration for people to come out and vote and help us build a better country. Henry Charles Usher, who's taking over the reins of Fort George from Said Musa, was also successfully nominated as the PUP candidate for that division, where he will face off against candidates from the United Democratic Party and the Belize Progressive Party. That division has been a traditionally safe PUP seat. At All Saints Primary School, which is the nomination center for the Freetown Division, a confident former PUP leader and Minister of Education, Francis Fonseca, paraded with his nominators. We got a brief comment from him. We're feeling good, obviously it's an unusual nomination day. Um, we're used to having a long parade and a lot of noise and energy and music. Um, so it's unusual, but we understand the circumstances. But um, we're ready, we're energized and feeling good. <laughs> Over at St. Luke's Methodist School, the nomination center for the Pickstock Division, it was energized. A number of supporters were out waving their political flags and chanting in support of Anthony Mahler, who is vying for a seat in the House of Representatives. As he exited the nomination center, we got a first reaction from him. It's, it's been a long road for me, so it's an exciting one. Um, and I know on election day we will deliver for the People's United Party. You know, talk to us about the work that has been on the, that you've done on the ground, you know, to prepare for this party. Well, I have been supported by wonderful people, hundreds and thousands of people supporting us in the Pixar Division. So that has given me the energy to keep going every single day, even with the lights of COVID and this pandemic that we've been um, fighting with for the last six or seven months. Um, we have been able to change with the times and we've been able to meet as many voters by calling, by going out as much as possible, but just putting in the work. Politics is about understanding people, the needs of people, communicating with people, but it, you have to continue to work day in and day out, no matter what. I will assure the people of Pixac that I will work hard and smart day in and day out to improve their quality of life, right? the quality of life for, for those people in, in the division. Dwayne Moody for News 5.